Hello and welcome to another episode of Red Dead Redemption. I thought I heard some arguing in here. Or maybe just uh, regular drunkenness. So, I think I'm going to pay Reyes. Abram Reyes a visit. Ah, stranger. Stop with the side quests. <laughs> There's so much uh, new stuff all the time. No wonder it's uh, the trophy list is this absolutely huge. Hola. Que pasa? So I think I'm going to try and travel there. Yep, could do that from here. Travel to Waypoint. Wonder what he's up to this time. And I kind of want to see what the movie guy is up to this as well. Says if I go north, that is into the US probably. He'll have something for me. And by the way, I noticed this uh, like five, six episodes ago, but my the renderings or the editing software I use, which is actually it's KD and Live or something like that uh, in Linux. I had forgot to adjust the default resolution, so some of the videos after my sickness break got rendered in 1080p, and it's just upscaled, so it's not really a problem because they will usually be upscaled on the screen anyway. But usually, I prefer to provide the source, not so that people can upscale themselves. But anyway, that doesn't matter. Let's see what uh, Reyes is up to. The Great Mexican Train Robbery. Are we going to take out one of those trains now? Oh. They don't... The trust tier is quite low nowadays. The American bandit turned bounty hunter who is about to win the Mexico Revolution. I don't know about that, mister. No, <laughs> no. But I do, Mr. John Marston. I do. That American revolution won't be one me, ever. With just a few such men, I tell you I could rule the entire country. Hey, hermanos unidos, set my people free. <laughs> Libre Mexico. <laughs> Libre Mexico. Crazy times. It's like food to me. I feel I was sent for them and they were sent to me. It's sort of like Castro as well. He needed the revolutions. So when he was done in Cuba, he just traveled around the world, started new ones. Eventually he was caught. No, not Castro. Che Guevara. I know this land. In short, I can make them better. Or Che Guevara. It must be pleasant to be a man so at one with his destiny. I don't do it for myself, John Marston. I do it. You just said you do it for yourself, that you feed on it. Sarcasm, my friend, should be beneath a man such as you, don't you think? No. <laughs> okay, well, well, in that case, I assume a little robbery will be a pleasant day's work. But All in a good what am I going to get out of this? Come, my brother. Let us strike while the iron is hot. I feel like I they got to cut to the chains someday and uh, Come on. Vamos. Give me this escalera. No, it's not escalera. Can't remember his name. The Bill's buddy. 
builds Mexican body. You must tell me more, John. Are my sources correct? Have you come? Mierda, you're slowing us down, Marston. Not exactly. We were friends once. A lot's changed since then. Now yep. that we are friends, I hope you will give me some warning if you get a sudden urge to kill me. You it wasn't really like that. When I kill you, I <laughs> so where are they? Who? Williamson and Escuela. I'm Escuela was his name. Exactly where they are definitely in Mexico. That much I know already. You told me you'd found them. And I will. I have my very best men working on it. If I find out you're lying, they are so friend, slippery. You'll really see the man I used to be. I will give you your friends, I promise. Just give me time. I don't know about that. So but how that, did you I'll, meet this and <laughs> I'll join you in the robbery though. Under a fella called Dutch. We were all bad kids. Lost, angry, and forgotten. He kind of saved us. And turned you into criminals. Dutch didn't see yep. us that way. We robbed banks, stole from the rich, and we gave the money to people who needed it more. So he was a revolutionary too, like me. I suppose. He saw that the system of power was rotten, that good people had been crushed for too long. And he believed that change could only succeed if it was brutal and relentless. Make America what That's he That's where all the revolutionaries are wrong. Writing. I like the sound of this man, Dutch. Another violent idealist. Where's He's he dead, now? probably. I don't know. But I gotta find him once I'm done oh. with him too. In the end, he went insane. Lost faith in everything. And everyone. So we gotta hunt him down as well. You have quite a story, John Marston. I really am a little jealous. Jealous? Obviously, I wouldn't be jealous. Potential, I mean. He would make an excellent corrido. A bullfight? <laughs> no, mi hermano. That is a corrida. No, a corrido is as Mexican as Mexico itself. A song, a poem, a story, a ballad, a musical tribute to a heroic man and their great deeds. There are over a hundred written about me. Oh. I mean to stay away from men with guitars. In a country where most people cannot... I think I would have anxiety if they made a hundred songs about me. We do what we can to battle the lies and propaganda of the government. I know. I've seen your posters. In the capital, they are already talking about my legendary escape from El Presidio. How I fought a thousand Mexican soldiers with my bare hands. Finally, the people have the truth. <laughs> yeah. With my help. It wasn't exactly a thousand, though. I have to know, what did you think of Agustin Allende, young? Uh, he's a bastard. No, he ain't a good man. It is bad enough he beats the people he swore to protect, but it is worse that he enjoys it. Something must have made him that way. Cowardice made him that way, my friend. That and Sanchez, of course. Who? General Ignacio Sanchez, our country's kind and generous dictator. Everything comes from him. Ignacio like Sanchez. Yeah, Ignacio is often short, shorted to Nacho for some reason. Example, how do you say a, a, a puppet? Everything he does is controlled by Sanchez. America, I never figured out that. They told us Sanchez why it's like that. Things better here. Pinche propaganda. He talks about economic reform, about how this is a new carajo. Cuidado, John. But look around you. The people are poorer than ever. Yeah, and they will continue to be after the revolution. Sorry to disappoint you. Allende is nothing more than a perrito for General Sanchez. Not far now. Is just up ahead. I guess I go in, shoot it, shoot it up, and run. supplies we need but it's also filled with government troops we'll set up a very loud distraction you can board the train and then you can disconnect the army cars huh uh okay okay but 
Listen, we've got to get this done before the train rolls out of the station. You make it sound so easy. <laughs> well, How many do you have to kill to do this? <laughs> there are too many soldiers. We must surprise them. Here, take this knife. You can use it to kill the guards quietly. I have a knife. Wait until I distract them. Then get on that train as fast as you can, young. Wait here while I create a distraction. And they can't see him? If you are spotted near the train, the guards will attack you. Ah, thank you. There's the knife. Throwing knife! Interesting. Crouch with L3. Oh, wrong button. Ah, crap. I think I screwed up. <laughs> yeah, retry. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. And I was a bit too noisy. Ah, I start off sneaking. Okay. There is one up there, and is that a guard? Yes, it is. There is one. And now I got a disconnected train. Take out the guards. Where's the next one? Looks like he's off the train. Is he down here? Can't see them. Oh, all right. Detach. <laughs> and off they go. And now we have the whole train. A Gatling gun again. It's not my favorite weapon, but... Take out the guards! <laughs> Can't I kill that guy? Got him? Just gotta sweep over here a bit. Someone's shooting me though. For some reason. <laughs> Wonder why. Can we get moving soon, maybe? And now I gotta take out these bastards again. Pop up. Thank you. Control aiming is not really my strength. <laughs> so what's up guys? Are you stuck? To go into the train, maybe? I didn't really see the message, but apparently I have to. Oh, 
Oh, he's arrived. Okay, take control of the engine car. Let's go. This is like a stealth mission almost. <laughs> well, not really on the start, but... Why were they just sitting there? Let's steal the car, or the train. That's kind of funny. I wonder if I have to fight them off a bit more. No? Uh, that's the rebels, maybe? Yeah, it is. <laughs> You aren't going to what take are you anything? We need to get into that car. Oh, they want me to blow it. Come on, my friend. Get Where's my dynamite? Dynamite. Run, fool! Oh, this is a bit scary. Oh, I'm safe. It's probably full of women. Don't really want to see what's inside. Oh, it's full of... The oh, no, that's the uh, soldiers, maybe. Crack safe. Holy crap. Let's see, move L right to search for the first number of the combination. If the dial is moved too far... Okay, second number. Ah, not too bad. This design is really bad though, if it's actually like that on the real safe. I haven't ever tried that. Money! And the postcard. Two hundred bucks. Sure, but I need to know where Williamson and Escuela are holed up. All in good time, Amigo. <laughs> Everyone are saying that. I wonder if that he hasn't blown garage. out yet. Oh. My spies tell me they soon will have the information you need. Are they gonna stick me up as well? Here comes the cavalry. Or maybe not. Do we just park it in the site? 
robot or something. No? I have to see what this is. <laughs> I got to go all the way around. Horse. Horsey. I still have no name for the horse. It's not really my gift in life to name things. Cool. It's right around the correct time as well. What was the German again called? Uh, Lindeberg? Um, Makes you feel like you're on top of the world. He had Lindeberg. almost this contraption and he managed to glide a few times and then he died. <laughs> Hello there, friend. But you they had to start scenery? somewhere. I guess I have. What are you doing out here? Looks you know, like he's flying. I'm trying to capitalize on the stiff upward breezes in this region to launch my first ever flight. You're gonna try to use that crazy thing to fly? I'll be soaring like an eagle, or my name's not Charles Kinnear. I should be the first man swooping through Charles this Charles Kinnear. I, shall. I have to I search that. I now, only it seems like I need more adhesive to keep the wings together. I've concocted my own special formula, since that store-bought stuff isn't strong enough. However, I can't abandon my machine to gather more materials. Oh, you want me to guard what it? What kind of materials are you? Or get the materials. I need a bunch of bird feathers. Doesn't matter uh -huh. what kind, along with a parcel of beaver hides to boil down, along with some red sage to make it all pliable. I might have okay. all of that. I think I can find all that stuff. Except I'll for be the back, beavers. Did you leaping off that cliff is something I have to watch. Yeah, <laughs> I want to see that too. Yes, they did. Icarus. Had his wings melt melt enough. How much of each stuff did he need? A parcel of beaver hides? Dedalus and Sand. Twenty feathers, five beaver furs, twin ten red sages. There are rivers up north, okay. Let's head a bit north. Just going to see if I can find them at all. Predo! Whoa! Guess not. <laughs> ah. Lake Don Julio. But I think I'm going to go here and see... Pay bounty. Do I have a bounty? Five finger filet. Why is that here? Wasn't that the name of the fort? Maybe I misspelled it? No, I'm pretty sure that was the name. I gotta see what's that, what that is. <laughs> Ready horse? We gotta travel. Travel to waypoint. What is that? Ah. 
it's the alien android game. <laughs> no, thank you. But maybe I can now see where the movie guy is. That's flowers for the lady. Did say travel north to see what he was up to. Lights, camera, action. You can check up on him once you travel up north. Maybe I have to sleep, but I think I'm going to have a few drinks at this bar. It's been a while. <laughs> And I did see in one of the movies where when I was going to gamble in the liar's dice I had 250 bucks and I had one drink and he said it was a bit expensive and it dropped to 200. But it didn't say minus 50. So I wonder if I was stiffed. Whiskey this time. Thank you. Take another one. So funny that he's just standing there ready to pour my drinks. Come on. I've been killing trains. <laughs> Give me more. Or that's probably enough. Thanks a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Are you lonely? Not really. Just need to get back home. They still haven't done uh, their things. I don't know what they're supposed to do. Maybe they just walk around looking funny. Seems very like a uniform to me. Wasn't this my room? Maybe I have to go outside. My wife would kill me. Oh yeah. Here it is. So until next time. Bye bye.